Welcome to our online seminar, Pluggable Lighting Installation. In this first part, I will show you how fast, error-free and inexpensive a lighting installation could be if you work with a pluggable solution. So uh, let's start with a little bit uh, historic view on electrical installation. So in the beginning, uh, there was porcelain uh, connection clamps, screw connection clamps, single pole. One of the founder of these uh, devices was a uh, company Wieland Electric more than 100 years ago. Uh, next step was to have a multiple pole connection still with porcelain housing and you know it all the next step then was to uh, replace the porcelain with plastics to make it less expensive and uh, to make it very much easier to handle up to date connection technology on site is to use again single pole connections but now with spring clamps so very easy to handle very fast to handle but at the end, the main work on site is still the electrician has to cut cables, has to dismantle cables, has to strip single wires, and then has to combine these wires again to a working network to supply luminous, to supply different other loads. Overall, it's still the same than 100 years ago. So, um, we as WLAN, we have a different idea. We work with pluggable components. You see it on the right here. The electrician here just has to connect or to plug the devices um, together and it's very fast and uh, he cannot make any mistake. It's just plug and play and ready. And on the left side, you see this electrician has to do a lot of work. Uh, individual work on site normally in or sometimes in bad conditions and uh, that's lasts very long and um, also is um, he can make a lot of failures uh, during this installation and if we have an over look about the whole installation we normally say with a pluggable installation you can save up to 70 percent of time depending on the application and in the end, of course, a pluggable cable is more expensive than a non-pluggable one. But in the end, you can save up to 30% of cost in your project. Um, if we have a closer look, for example, in this installation, what do you have to do for a conventional installation? You have to cut the cable, you have to dismantle the cable, strip the cables then you have to open the luminaire in this case you have to wear gloves to open this luminaire then you have to connect the cable you have to close the uh, the, uh, the luminaire again and of course normally you're, you're not able to work on a on a desk like this um on site the situation is normally uh not so optimal than you see here and on the other side on the right side here we have a prefabricated cable with uh, already installed pluggable device connector and there he only has to plug in the t-piece from a vlan he has to connect the cable and the rest is already done um, you have a hundred percent industrial pre-assembled quality on site and in case of any damage or uh, changes uh, in the luminaire layout you can replace or change the installation very very fast and without any further efforts if we have a closer look into the fault of these this installation the conventional installation should last around 25 minutes and in comparison to that the pluggable installation would be around 10 minutes uh, of course the material the material is more expensive on the Gizes side, but the combination of salary and material um, results in lower costs for the project. So in this case, we, we save around 60% of time. We save 47% for the project. 
Okay, what do you need for a real systematic pluggable electrical installation? You, of course, need connectors. Um, the connectors would be fine if they can be uh, handled directly on site. Then you need cables in different cable types, different cross sections with female and open end, with male open end, and of course, connection cables with female and male. Then to create networks, you need distribution blocks with in different housing and different dimensions. You see here some samples for the, our Gizus Classic system. And in the end, if you want to really have pluggable devices, you of course need also a device connector that you can put in the housing so that the device or the load could be directly pluggable. And this you see here is the Gizus Classic system. So the standard system available since 30 years now, this is a solution three pole for, for switchable luminaires. We have also the variant for dimmable luminaires. You see it here. Also again, Gizus Classic system, uh, 20 amps uh, possible, 250 or 400 volts. And the pastel blue variant, this one is especially for dimming luminaires. You can handle. Uh, you can work here with um, phase, uh, neutral, and earth in combination with the DALI signal, for example. Or if you are working with the older version, could also be used for power and one to ten volts signal, analog signal, possible. If this one is too big for your application, we have another solution. This is the Gizus Mini system. Same functionality, not twenty amps, but sixteen amps. And uh, again, pastel blue coating for dimmable luminaires. Also, again, all devices available. So distribution blocks, device connectors, cables, connectors, and so on. And of course, this smaller system is again also available for switched luminaire installation. So you can have this also in three pole. We have several further coatings. Uh, pole numbers, uh, also two pole or four pole, whatever, um, depending on the application and the depending on the needs you have on site. Until now, we only had indoor solutions with IP40 systems. And if you think about, uh, for example, parking garages or horticulture um, buildings um, or areas, you need a higher IP protection class, um, and therefore we have the RST system. Uh, also, again, with connectors, cables, distribution blocks, device connectors, and so on. Uh, available from um, 8 amps, this is an RST microsystem, up to 50 amps, this is a, the RST power system, and the standard systems are RST Classic and RST Mini. Also, again, available for switch luminaires as well as for dimmable luminaires. So uh, the whole system is also available with a higher IP protection class. Um, in this case, it's IP66, IP68, and IP69. So it's usable in horticulture, parking garages, even outside, directly outside. We're Talking about a pluggable installation, we're talking about fixed installations, and uh, therefore you have to, or we have to take care of uh, some norms. Uh, the most important norm for us is the DIN EN61535, uh, also international version e IEC61535, uh, and this is about installation couplers in the, intended for permanent connection. So. You have a fixed installation, but a pluggable installation. And these connectors have to have some features that are relevant uh, to be able to create a fixed installation out of it. So, uh, and this norm is about um, two to five pole installation couplers with a rated voltage of 125 to 500 volts with a rated current of 16 to 32 amps, rated connectivity of one point five to 10 square millimeters 
And what is very important to create a fixed installation or with installation couplers, you always have to lock the connection. So it's, this is realized in our components on in different ways, but you can lock every plugged connection and that is very important. Otherwise it would not be a fixed installation. Then we have to have a coded system and there we have several codings for several applications, not only mechanical codings, also colored codings, so um, that the installer on site is not able to connect different systems. Let me say, for example, you have a five pole um, cabling to supply floor boxes with three phase mains. And in parallel, you have a installation with five pole um, dimming signal and power supply, then you're not able to plug these different systems together. And what is very important also, you're not allowed to mix your different manufacturers. Of course, we know there are several manufacturers that do copies of our devices, and it may be possible, mechanically possible, that you work with a VLAN um, male and um, female from another manufacturer and maybe this works mechanically but not from the electrical side that could be very dangerous so this is strictly not allowed to mixture these devices next part we are often asked how about the usage of flexible cables in a fixed installation because uh, this is not normal or that's not uh, the standard way you use flexible cables and is it allowed Yes, of course, this is also allowed. You only have to have a further housing or a further protection of these cables. And the normal use of our cables, of our flexible cables is in suspended ceilings, in dado trunkings, or for example, in false floors. And there you have this extra housing just because they are installed there. But you can also work with um, solid, wires to connect them to VLAN plugs. That's not the problem. Uh, next thing, what we are asked very often, where is the end of a fixed installation? To define this clearly, this is very easy in a conventional installation, because if you have a wall socket outlet, this is the end of the fixed installation. Or if you have a luminar connection terminal, this is the end. In a pluggable installation, it's not really um, complicated to find the end of the fixed installation. Let me say it's always the last female connection before the load. So this means if you have a luminaire with an internal device connector, then the end of the fixed installation is the female part of the last connection cable. If you have a luminaire, for example, with a connection cable, then this connection cable belongs to the luminaire, could be also with a re reduced wire across section. And the end of the fixed installation is in this case, the output of this distribution block. So this should be the first part of our today's uh, online seminar. And I will come back to you in some minutes.